but my why, um, gosh, my, my little whys um, started uh, over last summer because I had knee surgery. And I'm a physical therapist by trade, so I have to work manually and with my body. And um, I have rheumatoid arthritis. I've had it for 14 years and um, done fairly well, except I had one knee joint that wouldn't play nice and sandbox with everything that I had done to try to control it. So I did have a total knee uh, replacement last year. And I'm fairly young to have to do that. But it was finally after that that I'm off work for three months and thinking, okay, if I don't work, I don't get paid. And I have a manual job. I have to be up on my feet. I do home health therapy primarily with geriatrics. And so in September, I had decided to um, become a, uh, do the business. I was already a customer. Uh, a year ago um, because of Prada B from Pat Ritchie. Um, so then I became, um, made that decision. And so my husband along are going along um, and he agreed with me and we decided to start doing the business. Um, but we had something looming over our life um, and we expected a better outcome than what we got. Um, but we, we were working, doing the business, met Mike, met Lorraine, started coming to the meeting, started doing what you're supposed to do. I made crystal manager by Thanksgiving that year. Um, but before September 11th, when we had decided to do this, um, September 11th, we got um, information that my husband was going to be incarcerated for um, an involvement he had years before. Um, made a mistake. Wrong group of people did a wrong thing, and we were hoping for the best as far as probation and things like that. But we did not get that news on September 11th. And um, January 11th, I had to deliver my husband to a correctional institution. So going from, I have two small kids, just turned seven. And so going from a two family income to, to one, and I'm a physical therapist. I make a decent living. And I could go and I can work my job and my hours and make my decent living. But in September, I just made a decision based on not being able to work that this is what I needed to do. Not wanted to do, wanted to do and needed to do for my future. And I have this thing looming over me that, gosh, I can't do this now. I got it. I got to work. I got to make my money today. I got to take care of my kids. I got to make up for two incomes. And we prayed about it and prayed about it. And my husband asked me, "What do you, you know? What do you want to do?" I said, "I really want to do isogenics." And that's what I'm doing. And I've created what I needed to create so I could do that. So I'm working only part time, and I'm spending the rest of my hours, except for taking care of my kids. Um, doing isogenics. Even tonight, I got two friends in town that have taken my kids out to dinner. It's their birthday. Wow. You know, I'm not spending my time with them because I'm doing what I need to do because of the future. So I can do my visits and I can make my whatever dollars per visit and, and be comfortable, but 10 years from now, or next surgery, or next accident that I'm not working, I'm not making money, I'm going to still be there where I am this past summer saying, I need, I, need, I need this, I need something that's going to be residual that no matter what happens and or God forbid, at least he's gone for a year and I've, I've lost him for a year. Me and my kids have lost him for a year, which was the minimum. The good guy out of the bunch, made a mistake, no doubt about it, but the good guy out of the bunch without going into a long story, cooperated, did everything um, he was supposed to do and um, even the prosecutor told the judge be as lenient as you can. This is the good guy. Just got in over his head. But he got the minimum. The minimum was 15 months. So my kids are and I are without him for a year. And um, I have to make it work. So my why just from losing work because of surgery went huge to my why as far as what if I had lost him forever? What if I do? What if I was? <coughs> um, what if not only he can't work, but I can't work? And um, so, so my why got a lot bigger. 
and I'm just making it work. I've got my family supporting me as far as the kids, and um, because it's hard, you got that guilt, you know, I need to be there for the kids, especially now that dad's gone. And I just said, no, life, you're not going to take this from me. This situation's not going to take this from me. This is what I'm going to do because in the long run, it's going to give us everything that we need, everything that we hope for. We've got stories to be able to learn from. Um, and so, so that's my why. That's